Welcome back, foul mouth fishing, all you hookaholics. Um, it's time. Our RTB rush tackle box um, arrived. So uh, let's delve into that. And uh, you see, I have three boxes. Uh, two are going to be for another video. Uh, but today we're going to hit on the rush tackle box for this month of September 2020. RTB. So um, if you don't know, rush tackle box, very similar to mystery tackle box is a monthly subscription box. Um, this is their bass box. Um, it's more or less a multi-species because in Rush Tackle, uh, they don't have a individual tier for specific species, uh, but they do do like a single flat tier and they ship out different baits. It's a grab bag uh, of lucky, you know, be lucky as you want um, baits each month uh, from different manufacturers, some well-known, some lesser known. But it's always interesting if you want to uh, invest in it in a way to find baits, especially in the situation that we're in where most stores have been basically, you know, threadbare uh, for different tackle uh, when you go out to your local uh, fish and tackle shop. But uh, RTB is a great way to get monthly baits delivered to your door. So if you are interested in what I have to show, um, I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can check out RTB. I also leave the link in every video for um, Mystery Tackle Box and for my other box that I do, Angler's Hall, which is primarily uh, tools, not so much uh, baits and lures. But uh, nevertheless, RTB came through again. There's some, some hard baits right there on top. You get a What's in the Box card. Uh, RTB dip, basically every box will have six items. Um, we have this month, we have a Smart Baits item, a Bagley. Uh, two Lunker Hunts in X-Zone, so some well-named brands, and uh, some lesser knowns, uh, well, we have Mayhem Bait, Bait Company, Mayhem we know, um, so that's pretty cool. Total value for this box, as they assess it, is $47.04, so that's a pretty good return on my investment if these prices hold, uh, hold true. So let's start off, first on their list, we have a Lunker Hunt Impact Jerk Bait, so... Right off the top here, Lunker Hunt Slash 6S Impact Series, and it's a suspending jerk bait, half ounce. It's a four and uh, four point three inch, six foot diving to suspension. Let's see if I can get this thing open. Oh, there we go, jerk bait. Pretty cool. This has got that silver gray. It's a three treble, oops, sticky, three treble hook bait. Um, it's got a little silver gray tone to it. Uh, not bad for a suspending jerk bait. The color they list on this is silver sides. So yeah, you got yourself your little silver jerk bait. Um, pretty, pretty darn decent bait. Impact series, uh, I'm not so familiar with when it comes to the Lunker Hunt uh, brand. I mean, I've, I've had some of their Impact swim baits um but uh the hard bait i don't really pay attention i impact series hard baits I'm, I'm probably not too familiar with maybe i have a few i just didn't realize that's what the uh, the series that they called them um but not bad so this is supposed to have a really erratic uh tail whipping action uh when it's pulled so six foot depth and it's a suspending jerk bait now cold water season coming around the corner with fall um Fish go into that lethargic stage. Well, actually, they're feeding up right now, right before the winter, um, you know, the winter um, uh, slowdown, if you want to call it that, a hibernation period. Although fish don't really hibernate, uh, they just kind of slow down and, and they become much more advantageous to their to their forage. They're not going to exert any energy because they're a cold-blooded creature, and when the water gets cold, they have to slow down in turn. But uh, 
not bad. Really cool build. Um, I, I think this is a really awesome potential jerk bait. I like that black back. I like that little copper line they have running down down the center of the bait there. I think is really nifty. And it's definitely a rattling bait. You can hear that. And uh, super sticky sharp trebles as are common with uh, with the Lunker Hunt brand. So that goes right there. $7.99 for the Lump Lunker Hunt's impact jerk bait. Next they have for $7.59 X-Zone Lures. X-Zone Lure. Okay, we got ourselves a little soft plastic. Um, this is their Slim Slammer 103 in Melon Purple Float Tail. So you have a melon, a watermelon, purple flake, and it's got a white tail that they say floats. So this is a little finesse one, great for drop shot, certainly. Um, probably even good as a, as a trailer on something like a jerk bait or a chatter bait or something like that. That white tail is definitely going to draw attention. It's got a white belly as well to that melon, watermelon, um, purple flake top. So that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a very slim profile, flat pour, obviously flat on, on, the, on the one side. Um, so it's like that hand pour style, which is, is definitely advantageous. Definitely drop shot material. Um, certainly a finesse bait. Be interesting. Probably catch a lot of smallmouth on this. Certainly catch crappie. It's definitely got that bluegill presentation with that purple on the, the green and purple, green and blue. Little flashes of white or, or gray or, you know, off-white. Definitely imitate, you know, your, your typical bluegill patterns. So any bluegill foraging predator fish are definitely going to like these. And uh, I like that size. I, I like that. That's, that's not bad for, uh, you know, a little, um, like a little three-inch, a little three-inch uh, swim bait. So that's pretty cool. All right. Again, that's $7.59 for that. Next, another Lunker Hut. And this is interesting because um, I would think that was a drop shot bait. And what do they give you? An eight-pack of size two drop shot bait hooks. So a little eight-pack of Lunker Hunt's drop shot number two bait hooks. Um, that's pretty cool that they give you a whole package of drop shot hooks and obviously the lures to go with it. So that's always good. I like when these box companies have at least enough wherewithal to put the item, the soft plastic, in with the hook that goes with it or a buzz bait with a trailer that matches that, that pattern or that skirting material. Um, eight piece, not bad. Uh, $3.99. Again, you're paying for that premium name. You can certainly get drop shot size two hooks a lot cheaper. Uh, you go Eagle Claw or any of those other brands. But uh, I'm going to give the, the credit that I hope Lunker Hunt uses a good quality uh, wire gauge when they make their hooks. They look pretty good. Um, they certainly look sharp. I'm not going to take one out of, the, out of this package yet because I have carpeted floors. And the last thing I need is to drop one of these guys and end up walking down here in my stockings and end up in my sock foot a giant <laughs> bait holder hook. So we'll keep them in the plastic for now. Uh, again, those are $3.99. Not a bad, dis uh, not a bad deal. Next, Smart Baits. Smart Baits are the color changing lure company. Um, I've had these in the past. These are those gobies again. Uh, these are $5.99. And thankfully, I'm appreciative that now Smart Baits is putting on the top of their bag, of their packaging, they're putting what color this is supposed to change to based on the, ther on the thermal temperature of the water. So this goes from a watermelon clear to a June bug blood red. So in your uh, cooler water or your room temperature, it's going to be a watermelon and clear. And when the water temperature rises, it changes to a, uh, a June bug color with a red, uh, blood red hue to it. So uh, I like that. These gobies, I've, I've actually caught a few small fish on the gobies that I've gotten in the past packages. Um, I'm trying to get me that big whopper of a bass, but uh, I don't know. I've been I've been more apt to get them on worms than I have on on the goby profiles for whatever reason. But uh, that's cool. It's a four pack of the smart baits. They want these five dollars ninety nine cents. It is a very good uh, good plastic material. These smart baits. I still to the like I said. It's it's semi um, 
kind of a, a kitschy, kind of goofy thing that these smart baits have. Um, I mean, really does changing in the water temperature matter? Not so much, in my opinion. However, as I look at it, and as I say in past videos, I look at it like I'm getting two packages of baits for the price of one. So I'm getting a cold season, cold water color bait uh, when I'm throwing it after fall into the you know early winter or coming out of winter into the early spring when the water's chilly it'll change to that that June bug color that craw pattern um, into the early spring and then during the summer months when it's super or during the winter months when it's super cold it'll stay that watermelon clear in the summer it'll get to that June bug so you never know um, I look at it like I'm paying for four baits but I'm actually getting eight because I can throw this in the different climates, which gives me two different color patterns, rather than me going out and getting, you know, a Gary Yamamoto Cinco in June Bug, and then another Gary Yamamoto uh, Cinco package in the watermelon, uh, well, watermelon shad or watermelon whatever. So, you know, you're getting two for one. It's a good bang for the buck. So that kind of offsets the sort of gimmicky idea of it changing in color uh, based on water temperature. Nevertheless, five dollars and ninety nine cents. Next up, something that is totally gimmicky, and I've already stressed this, I've talked about this in the past. They did, however, give us something that was slightly different than this. Um, this is what I originally thought was in the package, but what they had given us were these little pill-sized ones that actually worked out well. This, however, was a total flop from Bait Clouds Company. Um, they want $3.50 now. When these things came out, they came in a little tube. I think you got three of them, and they were like 11 bucks or something crazy like that. Um, don't quote me on that. But uh, obviously, sales did not facilitate keeping them at that price. So you get a little bo a bag um, with one of these bait clouds for $3.50. This one is in the shad scent or shad flavor, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this is a bath ball. It's a bath sudsy you know, you throw the this bait cloud into the water where you're fishing, it'll fizz like an Alka-Seltzer, disperse in the water, give off supposedly scent and uh, and a little cloud of, of sight and taste that is supposed to attract bass or fish or whatever into that area with whatever pattern you have. This is shad, so any shad foraging predator species is supposed to be attracted to where this happens to fizz out. The problem with it is, if you're throwing a bath bomb in your bathtub, you've got a couple gallons of water, right? You know, 40, 50, 60 gallons of water in your hot tub or in your, in your, in your, um, you know, in your bathtub. Um, but if you're throwing this out in a lake that's several acres, you're not really getting a whole lot of scent spread out for miles and miles and miles. It basically diminishes super, super fast, and it became very much a gimmick where you have to throw out dozens of these to really see any real value to it. Total gimmick. I don't buy it. Um, I would never buy one personally, so there's that. Next to last, from Bagley. Bagley, we've got another hard bait. This is their Bagley's Balsa Shad. I love Bagley Balsa baits. They always do good for me. Um, this one here is a BS07. Balsa Shad, made in Serbia. It's got a big diving bill. So let's see. This is going to dive 13 to 16 feet. It's a half ounce diving bait. Um, really cool colors. It's got that blue back with that orange orange belly. Um, always very good You know, color schemes come from Bagley. I've never had a problem with Bagley's uh, paint jobs. Love their materials. Bagley's a very good brand. I do respect it. Um, not bad. They've got that Bagley Bolsa Shad again for $9.99. A little premium pricey, but uh, as I say, I've never had any real problems with Bagley baits. They don't get too broken up. I mean, they, they, they hold up well. The hooks are pretty sharp. Um, I do appreciate Bagley's products. $9.99. Last, last, and this is one of the things that I do like uh, coming from... Um, from RTB, from Mayhem. Mayhem, the producers of Liquid Mayhem, the fish attractant. We have their Mayhem's, uh, what they call the Incursion Craw in the Green Pumpkin Watermelon Laminate. So this is a laminated bait. 
I think the last one I got was a solid color. Let's see what they got going on here. Well, because it's green pumpkin on one side and watermelon on the other, it's kind of hard to see the lamination. But nevertheless, this is their Creature Crawl. Um, for $7.99, it might seem pre, uh, pretty pricey that you have, you know, it's supposed to be two-toned. It's kind of hard to tell. It is there. You can see that the green pumpkin versus the watermelon color. Um, great craw bait. Love the appendages, these little flappers on the back end that look sort of like the, you know, uh, brush hogs or whatever. Great trailers on buzz baits, chatter baits, what have you. Um, but they include with the pack... A small little sample of their liquid mayhem uh, fish attractant. They give you a bonus liquid mayhem attractant inside, which is always cool that you get two for one. You're getting a full um, a five pack of the craws, and you're getting a little 10 ounce or 10 milliliter, excuse me, um, container of their fish attractant to dab on there. And these ridges on the bait are definitely um, advantageous to holding this gel uh, onto the uh, onto the bait. And I am a proponent, I do agree, that using fish attractants can help. Not so much for the attracting the fish to bite the bait, but for keeping the fish pinned. Because they will hold on to a soft plastic if it tastes and has the texture more of a natural uh, you know, pre or prey. Rather than just biting into soft plastic or biting into a piece of uh, you know, balsa wood. Finally, just like MTB, we get stickers. We've got a... Real cool grandpa sticker right there. That's always a plus. And we've got a little fish sticker of a guy with a full moon fishing on a sea of fish. And very much like me, he's sitting out there with a bunch of fish under his boat, and he's just sitting there without a fish in his, in his boat, you know, on his rod. But uh, that, the uh, Mayhem Cross, $7.99. Stickers, priceless. So just to recap, the Impact Jerkbait, $7.99. The Slammers from X-Zone, those little uh, finesse drop shot baits, $7.59. The Drop Shot Hooks from Lunker Hunt, $3.99. The Smart Baits Gobies, $5.99. The Scent Balls Bait Cloud, total waste of money, $3.50. The Balsa Shad, uh, that awesome little deep diver, that's going to be $9.99. Uh, again, 13, uh, 13 feet to 16 feet on that diving bill. And finally, the Mayhem Crawls with the bonus fish attractant inside is $7.99. Total value, $47.04. Not a bad bite uh, bait box. Um, I'm interested to, see, interested to see what kind of bites I get on them. Uh, if you liked, I hope you uh, hit that big thumbs up, slam that bell so that you can see more content like this, especially with what's coming up because I have these two boxes of saltwater baits. I decided to go to Walmart and uh, see what they offered as far as those little Walmart kits. Sometimes they have like yums, worms. I said, what the heck, I'm gonna see what they've got. With all the things in the pandemic, it's slim pickings, but what I did find were two saltwater tackle mystery boxes. One from um, Mystery Tackle Box, their saltwater fishing kit, and one just a Walmart grab bag kit. So who knows what's in the grab bag. Um, I hope you enjoyed, as always, from me to you, tight lines. Be blessed, stay safe out there. Peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast, Hookaholics.